I think estimates have been at this point that there's 150,000 nursing sh um, positions short in the United States. They, they see that in the next ten, five to ten years to be about 400,000. Um, and we all understand that as we grow older, that obviously is going to affect all of us individually. We've got about one out of every five positions that we actually have money to hire nurses for that we can't find nurses to fill. The issue or the problem is, of course, nationwide, and in fact, it's, a, it's actually pandemic. It's a worldwide problem. But in California, we're beginning to see it in a much more severe manifestation than anywhere else in the country, if not the world. It, it's bad and it's getting worse. This morning I was looking at a, at a report from HRSA. They've gone back and they've looked at it. They thought, well, you know, things are bad and they'll get worse and by 210 we'll have a shortage. They've now gone back and they re-looked at it in terms of supply and demand and the kind of things that they're talking about. It, it's short now. Not only is it short now that by 210 it will be in a really emergency shortage. Well, a lot of people didn't want to recognize that there was a nursing shortage starting back in 1997. I was at a meeting in the East Coast. I heard Peter Bierhouse speaking, and he looked. we were looking at the data, and he was projecting the nursing shortage. You come back and you try to present that to other hospital uh, administrators or people in the field, and I think they just didn't want to hear that it was coming again. There are still some states who believe that they are um, that they would frame their shortage as being mild. Mm -hmm. But by far the majority of states are uh, actively involved in aggressive uh, efforts to increase their supply of nurses relative to the demand that they are expecting, particularly in response to our ever-increasing aging population. The nursing shortage from a scale perspective is going to get much worse over the next decade. California, unfortunately, uh, is particularly uh, impacted by the current shortage in that we are 49th of all 50 states in our supply of nurses per capita. They say that they need, that there's a need for approximately 126,000 registered nurses nationally. And they break that down in California. They're saying that uh, in California we need approximately 5,000 more RN positions. One of the reasons why we're able to um, uh, see it more specifically in the state of California is because uh, we have recently passed legislation here that mandates that hospitals need to meet uh, safe patients, uh, nurse to patient ratios. Well the nurse staffing ratios um, have been mandated, the legislation has passed, but fortunately we've delayed the implementation of that legislation. Uh, it's been delayed again now until June of 2003. Well, the real question is that today, without the ratios in place, we need 5,000 additional nurses in California. We want to fill those jobs. The ratios will take that number even higher. And the question is, where will the nurses come from? We would happily move to the ratios today if we could find the nurses to fill those jobs. But they're so short of supply. How bad is the nursing shortage? Yeah. All one has to do is look at the Los Angeles Times, the ad section, pages and pages of registered nurses wanted, uh, licensed vocational nurses wanted. Um, it's, a, it's very severe to the point of hospitals are now going abroad to recruit nurses from abroad to bring them here and they're even uh, providing them with um, uh, remedial education in order for the foreign nurses to be able to go and take the licensing examination. A lot of nurses are coming from mostly the Philippines, uh, Canada, some in from Ireland, England, India, even Africa. So we actually have some nurses in the hospital I worked with right now and some nurses coming from those places. Hospitals did some stupid things, quite frankly. Uh, they stopped training some of the higher level nurses because managed care was coming in and they had to cut back on expenses. And we started losing nurses because of some of the short-sighted things that we did. We're at a point now where we're back to where we were, I think, in the late 70s, where we're back to seeing the kind of shortages we were seeing in the 70s. Actually, we're worse than we were in the 70s, quite frankly. I think there have been times, oh, in the 70s and to some degree in the 90s, when the shortage was less, 
but it was usually attached to the country having a double digit unemployment rate. And so what happened is, because a lot of spouses were out of work, nurses either rejoined the workforce who had been out, or the ones who were already working increased their hours. Nurses have been reluctant to become patients for a good 20 years. I mean, sometimes we don't have any choice, but it's not something we want to do. <laughs>